Welcome back to Call for Help. Many bloggers, uh, podcasters too, use WordPress. That is blogging software. You can either use it uh, hosted at WordPress.com, absolutely free, or if you've got your own server, it's very easy to set up, uh, easy to use, but best of all, it's very easy to customize. Callie Lewis from GeekBrief.tv on the Pod Show Media Network is here. You do a couple of public WordPress blogs, but also use it privately, so you become a WordPress expert. <laughs> I don't know that I would call myself an expert because there's so much there's to find. There's a lot. Find. It um, blew me away. I hadn't used WordPress in about a year. Yeah. Uh, and I installed uh, the latest WordPress about uh, two months ago, and the, the number of plugins and the amount of support, it's always good to use software that a lot of other people use because there's Absolutely. much more likely to be more support for it. Right. And, you know, I mean, I started, my, I started learning HTML when I was 14 and then moved on to AS, ASP and JavaScript as things moved from static to dynamic. But right. None of that is, ex is, as, is as exciting. Say that three times fast. Um, <laughs> as what you can do with WordPress because it is so easy to it's use it and powerful. that's why everybody uses it. Yeah, but yeah. you don't want to be like everybody else because you want to customize it. Right. So, so where do we is, start? This is this is what you get if you just install it out of the box. This is just straight away, you know, this is what it looks like. Um, not very pretty. Right. In fact, you'll see a lot of blogs that look just like yeah. this because people don't bother to customize it. Right. And it, you know, it takes a little bit of work and a little... Don and Drew use WordPress? Don and Drew use WordPress here. I just wanted to show they a couple of things They use a custom template here for one thing. So that's giving it the unique look. Exactly. And there are thousands of templates online, free there or are. paid. Right. Yeah. And and you can go in your back end of your WordPress blog and find a bunch of different things. Yeah, themes. there's links to click on them. Yeah. 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 And the, the recent format action and the recent comments are very are two very um, popular now, plugins. That's, that's handled by a plugin, not by WordPress itself. Correct. Okay. And now, uh, you, and you can make, you can change. I the, think it's the really nice to have it recent look of it. plug recent comments, so people can see what people are saying. It is. It is nice. Makes it very easy to find unless, new stuff. Un unless you don't have a lot of activity, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then it kind of looks. If sad. the most recent comment was four years ago, <laughs> yeah, maybe you want to turn that plugin off. And um, another one that is commonly used but really nice is AdSense uh, Deluxe. A lot of people want to monetize uh, their. Blogs, so they right. use Google's AdSense, which right. is very easy to do. And, and you can you can install that yourself on your your yeah, site. It's just JavaScript, but, but this is a little more fancy. This huh? is a little bit more fancy because what it does is it lets you say, well, I want it on you know the sidebar, but I don't want it within the post. Over to the right there, guys. Or, yeah, there it is. Um, I want it in different so spots on my website. So you can place it website. anywhere. For instance, a lot and of people want to place it, it in the post so that people see it every time, every Correct. post, things like that. It, and it this, really makes it easier to make money on it. Right. Probably. This particular site doesn't do it in the posts themselves, just in the sidebar. You have the choice. But you can you see a couple of different places. I don't believe this is a, a Google That's AdSense, their own ad. but this some is, people here will, we go. Some people will get angry if you put them in the posts. They'll say, <laughs> "Yeah, <many> ads. <laughs> exactly." You have to balance that out. And so you can, I mean, as you look through other people's WordPress sites, you can see all sorts of. You know what cracks me up? This looks just like a blogger site. They made their WordPress <laughs> template look like blogger. That's so funny. And um, back here, now this isn't, uh, I found out, I thought it was a, um, a, a plug-in, but it, we found out it's not. But Flickr, a lot of people use Flickr. You can embed your pictures into the Right, blog. and all the Flickr different, that you can use a flash. Um, or I like you this can, one, yeah. I like this one, and everybody has a different look to their Flickr account. Right. Um, but you can go into cl in Flickr and do an HTML They'll give you badge the code for or it. a flash badge, yep. and you can just put that in. But that's, an as that's a side note. <laughs> not, well, not all templates support plugins, so it may be that depending on the template you're using that you want to do something like that where you just paste in some code. Yeah, exactly. You do have to have a, you know, a, a format that, that will allow it. supports it, it. yeah. Correct. yeah. I, I use a, a really nice template that does support a lot of plugins and widgets and sidebar stuff, and it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Is this Mike's? Well, this is Mike's, and I'm going to pull up yours in a second here, but uh, Mike hit uh, sidebar widgets, which I think is a I great think a thing, nice and you way use to that add. as well. Yes, I do, yeah. Um, the, his Your is very simple. template has to support that, though. Yeah, I, I figured I'd show his on this because this is very simple. These are drag and drop, but which is you nice. Have... You can reorder them just by dragging them yeah, in. Yeah, let's uh, do a couple. Let's can I mess, can up, I, can can I mess up, up your, your site here? <laughs> <laughs> so he has some on his sidebar, but you can uh, put in a recent that. posts, and you can put it wherever you want, Isn't up at the top. Cool? Or move it down here, and you can even take off one. I'll tell you a secret. That's what got me using WordPress. When I saw that, I said, okay, it sold. Yeah. Because it's, it's so it's nice so to customize, easy. yeah. 
Yeah. And then you can add an RSS feed widget. Uh, you can put one here and There are hundreds of widgets it. out there, both official and unofficial. So you really have a lot of choices. You, you should be careful about putting too many widgets on your site. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Okay, and then let's um, jump over to your site here because this is the back end. Um, These are all the, this is the this admin. This is the plug-in ma management. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when, you, when you log into your WordPress site, you, you see this, all the dashboard, right, manage. If you go to plugins, um, you have a list. If you've just installed everything. There's only two. There's only, yeah, yeah. a couple. And um, Akismet, I always say Askmet. <laughs> I use is an anti-spam plugin. That, that's the other reason I immediately. Yeah. Uh, jumped on WordPress because their spam fighting capabilities are fantastic. There are and you all need that. sorts of spam fighters. Yeah, and you Mikey, that. you mentioned one you use? Spam Karma. Spam Karma. Spam Karma. That's another very good one. Uh, yeah, I've heard a and lot of for some reason, about that one. I think because Matt Wallenweger is a fan of uh, Broadway musicals, the other plugin it comes with besides a Kismet is Hello Dolly, which will put yeah. quotes from Hello Dolly on your page. <laughs> I think it's more as an example. I haven't seen any blogs actually do that. Right, I haven't either. <laughs> Uh, but these are very easy to turn on and off, and yeah, it's you easy to install. Or you just download a new plugin. You can deactivate some if you want. I'll come no. back. Uh, you just, uh, in fact, well, there's quite a few I've put on there and I don't use. That one. Um, this one you you like uh, the. I use yeah Terragon's uh, MP3 <laughs> player <laughs> plugin because. Uh, and it looks like this. When I embed a uh, MP3 on the page, there's a little player button, and it can just play it back. That's which kind is of cool really and easy. Nice. It means I don't have to do anything extra right. to give you the capability to play back audio on our page. That's the Net at Night podcast I do with Amber McCarthy. Yeah. Oh, that is really, that is, I, I tell you, uh, everybody who uses WordPress, send us your favorite plugins. We'll do a wrap up at some oh, point. Oh, that would be awesome. Because I think I want to, I, I, wouldn't you like to do that, Mike? Mike and I, and, and if you want to come back, Kelly, you can do it too. Thank uh, you. We'll do a, a list of all of our favorites. But there are some good ones to start. And in there your some, show notes, yeah. you'll have links to all of them. Absolutely. Very easy to use. And I tell you, it makes it a much more uh, powerful yeah. platform. And it's show fun to make.